Hey guys, what's up? This is Randall, and I just wanted to go ahead and make a quick review on something since I'm going to use it and really put it to the test. Uh, I figured it would be a good way to do a review. As you know, I am a diehard DeWalt fan. I mean, I got DeWalt. That's what I get. But my son on Christmas got me heart. Now the reason he got me that, it was I think about $20 because it was on sale, but it did not come with the battery. The battery is sold separate and the battery I think was about $50. So if you can find one for about $30, $40 with the battery, that's a damn good deal. Now let's go ahead and put this thing to the test. This is the HP, it's that one. Max PSI 150 pounds. Now one of the things I don't like is the battery setup, how you recharge it. Now I know, I know, it's a cheaper brand, so why would they have indication lights on the batteries, right? Well, one of the things that's a pain in the butt about this is the battery itself uses this thing. And you take it off, there is no charging stand. It's just a charger. You plug into the wall. And you get it in there. It has an indication light showing that it's going. So that's a little bit cheaper design to do that. It would be neat if the actual power tool had a fitting for a plug that you could just plug the plug into instead of I mean it's nice that you can use the battery for other tools but or at least have a power indication light on these batteries I mean you don't know if this battery is about full or dead when you have it on your dang thing how are you supposed to tell how much energy how much battery you got you never want to leave your batteries plugged in. You just want to plug them in until they're charged and then unplug them. But this is one of those that you just leave sitting around and then you go over. Oh, i got to air up my basketball or something. Because it does come with the little basketball pin. You see my son's bent it. He's like Rambo on that stuff. And it comes with the, the little blower. So it'll blow air out of it. Let's go see what we're going to do with this thing. I got six tires, and I'm pretty sure all of them need to be aired up, and especially my trailer tires. I am hauling off a bunch of scrap metal. The trailer is plumb full, so let's go ahead and put this one here. It'll tell you how much air I got. Eighteen pounds. Okay, there's forty in that one. Boy, a boy and his turtle. You like your turtle? So there's one tire from 18 pounds to 40 pounds. So that one is 25. Why do, why do that? Okay, there's two up to 40. And my big beefy tires here. My truck been saying this is low for a while, so now I've got a reason to air it up. 21. <laughs> All right, well, got three out of six. I thought it would be a better test than that, but I guess it ran out of air, so hey, man. Just keep one around your house to air up a tire every now and then or a basketball. Oh, yeah, that's worth it. It's not that loud. You just pick it up, walk out there, air up a tire or two. But if you got to air up six or seven, you're kind of up a creek on that. So best stick with a real air compressor if you're going to air up a bunch of tires. But if you just need one to air up your tire, your mower or your car, trailer, it's a good thing to have around. 
Maybe you see somebody on the side of the road that needs some air. It'll air up one tire completely, it looks like, as long as the bead hasn't broke on the Show rig. you the blowing capability for like blowing off tools and stuff. Cause I always like to blow off all my sawdust uh, off my tools so that they don't get rusty because the moisture in the sawdust eventually causes rust. But let's see how good it does on blowing it off compared to my air compressor. Not too bad. Air compressor does a lot better, but hey, just need to blow off a few things. Works for that. And here's another good test for it. Let's go ahead and get it off the charger. So we know it's got a full charge. Well, what about this thing? Like blow up beds and stuff. One of the things that we like to do is go to the drive in. And we have a blow-up bed that we air up and put in the back of our truck. Uh, the blow-up bed had a hole in it. So, I threw it away. The next big thing I could find is this pool. It's pretty good size. You don't want to blow it up with your mouth. So, let's see if this thing can blow it up. Now we just have the 1.5 amp battery. I don't know if you can get a more amp or milliamp battery or not. So, you know, another nice thing about one of these with the rechargeable batteries is you can have multiple batteries. So if, if it ain't enough to blow up whatever you're gonna blow up, if it'll blow it up at all, just bring more than one battery. See how many pounds of air it'll hold. It's getting pretty tight. Seems like it should have at least a point something of a pound. Yeah. Well, I don't want to blow it up. It does have a leak, so I mean, the air will leak out of it, but. I blow it up. Then our last and final test. See how flat it is. And just poke that in there. Uh, push it down. Then you poke it through that little rubber. Uh, yeah. And then you air it up. <laughs> There's a hole right there. So 
It'll go flat really quick. It's trash. So I aired up a bowl, a pool. I bet you could air up an air bed, air mattress. This does get kind of warm and it don't blow it up real fast, but imagine. You just see like two or three of these batteries and the whole family go camping. Luxury with air beds. Man, this thing is slick. The heart air fixer upper thingy are pretty bad. I like it. Thank you, Tucker. But anyways, like, subscribe. There'll be a link to the tool and link. Uh, hope you get one. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do because it was really handy. At first, I was like, oh my God, why would I want one of those? But of course, you know, my son got it. So I got to put it to work. And so I went ahead and bought the battery. I got the buffer with the battery and I just used the battery for both of them. I haven't even used the buffer yet. I just got it because, hey, it's about $20 more. I got the buffer with the battery instead of just buying a battery by itself. So I was like, ah, free buffer. I'm going to need one sooner or later. But for this, I think it works pretty good. I've tried their drills before. I don't like the drills. They're not as strong as my DeWalt. But... Look how small that is. Instead of carrying around an air tank or one of those little roadside thingamajigs you plug into your cigarette lighter, I bet you could plug this into a cigarette lighter. I bet you it has an adapter that you can put onto it that will plug it into a cigarette lighter. I don't know. I'll tell you, it don't come with one. But anyways, like, subscribe. Maybe get you one. Peace. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video and want to follow my process, like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for tuning in. Hey man, while you're at it, check out my other YouTube channels. The Stay Home Dad, The Back End Handyman, The Dorcher Family, and The Average Stoner. Just a little bit of what I do from day to day as a stay home dad.